Hello everyone, I'm back again today. Um, I didn't bother making a video yesterday because I was working on um, uploading videos yesterday. Sorry, my dog is drinking water and it's really loud, you can probably hear it. <laughs> anyway, I was uploading a bunch of videos yesterday that I had been working on and I knew by the time those finished uploading, it would be time to make a new video today anyway, so I didn't even bother making one yesterday. So, um, what is it? Today is Friday. Uh, Tom is gone to play cards tonight. He plays magic, and they're having some sort of special tournament tonight that started at midnight. It does start at midnight, so he's already gone for that. And the kids are having sleepover night tonight, which on Fridays I always let them sleep together if they want to, and it's usually uh, pretty crazy, and they didn't go to bed for a long time, so I can still hear them down there yelling and and who knows what, being silly and crazy, so, um, uh, let's see, I guess before I get started, I want to show you, I haven't taken that MCT oil that I showed you a couple days ago, and I've been, I make my pop, my own soda pop, in, uh, with my little Fizzini thing, and so I've just been putting it in that, and it doesn't taste like anything, it has no taste at all, it tastes like oily kind of on my lips when I drink it. But um, I do like that it seems like it calms the foam down so my pop isn't as foamy as it was, which I like that because I had made um, syrup for my pop out of a bunch of herbs and then I added Kool-Aid in, like a Kool-Aid powder into it to make it taste better and it tastes pretty good but it was really super foamy from all the herbs so I'm kind of glad that the oil seems to have calmed that down so it doesn't like overflow as bad when I pour the syrup in which is nice so um yeah so I'll keep on telling you if I notice anything from that but I wanted to show you that my my big order has still continued to trickle in and so today I got my um, castor oil and I have regular castor oil like from the grocery store but I was reading about this kind of cold pressed, cold processed castor oil. And the reason I got this was because um, every once in a while I've noticed lately, like when I'm reading, especially when I'm reading on my phone and I'm tired, that I started to see like, uh, it's almost like a shadow, like there was a second set of words next to the first set of words, kind of a blur kind of a thing. And so I was reading about eyesight and what might help with that and a lot of people said to put castor oil in your eyes so I thought I would try that and see but they said to use some this cold pressed kind not the kind from the store so I don't really know what the difference is but I'm going to try this out and I was super excited because on Amazon when I was ordering it I saw some people that were showed some before and after pictures of their eyelashes and I was like oh my goodness they had so many more eyelashes after they're rubbing their castor oil in it and some people um one lady showed her hair like she had been losing all of her hair on her head and she showed a picture before she started using it and after and how much hair she had grown in so that was pretty amazing so i'm kind of excited about that too because i know before when i used this i was um massaging it into my stomach for like liver help and my hair got super curly when I was doing that, so I, I'm excited to see what happens. I might take a before picture myself of my eyelashes and see if it really does make a difference on them, because that'd be pretty cool if I could grow more eyelashes. So I wanted to show you that before I got busy talking about other stuff. Um, I also brought my laundry along, because I figured I might as well keep doing that while I'm sitting here, because it has to get done sometime, so it might as well be now. Um, so, Miss Claudia has been sick today. She has had, I th in the night actually, when I got up with her once, she doesn't normally wake up in the night, but she did last night. And when I picked her up, I noticed she was hot, but I just thought she was just warm from her blanket or something. And so I didn't really think much about it, but then this morning I noticed she was still kind of warm. And it wasn't until Judah picked her up later and said, oh, she's really hot. And I'm like, oh, she must have a fever. And so all day she's just been a hot, sweaty baby. And I haven't actually taken her temperature, but it's clear by the way she feels that she's got a pretty high fever. And her little eyes just look sad. 
So my guess is maybe that it's roseola because roseola makes such a high fever. So I'm kind of thinking that might be what it is. So I guess we'll just wait and see if a rash breaks out here soon or not. But she's been sad and snuggly today. So I've not got to do quite as much work on my videos as I was hoping on our little spring break here because I spent a lot of time just cuddling with her today. Um, I did get my first grade binder video up and all of our Christmas stuff. I had so many videos from Christmas and I kind of intended to make separate ones but I just finally made one giant video which it might be probably a boring one. I don't think anybody will want to watch it but that's alright. We still enjoy it with our own family which kind of all of those day in the life videos I've been making is half of the reason is just for our own sake that we kind of have you know have a collection of home movies to watch sometimes the kids like to put on the playlist and just watch them the little guys do so it's actually uploading right now and I started uploading once and it was taking so long it uploaded for like six hours seven hours and it was still not even halfway done so I asked Tom to help me out and he showed me some different settings and it and we restarted it and Hopefully it'll go faster this time around. Um, which, by the way, he made a video yesterday, so we were having a share upload time. <laughs> so, But if you are interested, he made a video on his channel. I'll put a link to it here in the description. But he did one on the prophecies in Daniel and in Revelation and how they are... Um, the same prophecy and it was really interesting it's funny because you know we talk about stuff all the time and when he's making this video he told me he had realized something he hadn't seen before but he wouldn't tell me what it was because he didn't want to ruin the video for me so I had to wait until it was all done and watched it myself with him and, then, and I was like oh my gosh how have we seen this or heard this so many times and hadn't noticed this before so I was pretty excited and you'll have to watch the video to find out because I don't want to tell all of his good stuff without you watching his video but we um have the audio bible playing all the time at our house and I think I've already said that so it's been I don't know how many 700 times or something like that that it's played through the last time we checked but still all the time we're hearing new things that we hadn't heard before and it's something I would highly recommend if you want to just learn the bible we just have the audio Bible going all the time, and I cannot recommend it more. Um, so this is our second day of spring break, and Thomas told me today that he's never been more bored in his entire life <laughs> than he was today. He didn't want to pl play computer anymore. He's bored of that. He said he's bored of watching his tablet. He's bored of reading. Didn't want to do any more cleaning. That was boring. He likes to clean, so that's that's not a... I wasn't like forcing him, but he loves to clean and organize things, but he just was tired of it. I thought it was funny because we're only two days in and he's already ready to get back to school. Um, what else was I thinking I wanted to tell you about? What was yesterday? Yesterday was Thursday, so... <clears throat> we worked on... Uh, I worked on videos yesterday and my niece and nephew Camden and Hadley came over and spent the afternoon with us yesterday because my sister had some shopping that she wanted to do. It's Camden's birthday tomorrow so he came out, came over and hung out with us and tomorrow all the kids are going to go and have a sleepover at their house which will be fun for them to celebrate his birthday so I had 10 kids in the house yesterday and they all went grocery shopping with me yesterday. I always go on Thursdays because on Thursdays Tom makes pizza and while he's making the pizza we go to the grocery store and the kids always buy snacks because well we call it Naruto night we watch this cartoon called Naruto so on Thursday nights we eat pizza and watch Naruto and the kids buy snacks with their money and while they're getting their snacks I buy the week's groceries so it was interesting taking 10 kids to the grocery store but they always do good. Nobody got into any trouble. They always help each other. and It worked out just fine. 
Um, today I spray painted some pillows. I'd read that you can spray paint fabric and so I thought I'd give it a try because the pillows that I had made for our outdoor furniture on the back porch were getting all faded and sad. They looked like they were white even though they weren't white so I thought it's not going to hurt anything to give that a try so I spray painted two of the pillows pink and they don't look like new pillows but they look a lot better than they did before so I'm going to go ahead and spray paint the rest of them one of these days. I had some a big box left from my uh, my Walmart order. I just took one of those boxes outside and put a pillow in it so I can only do one at a time so that's all it will fit in there but it gave me like a little spray booth so I didn't get paint all over so I'm going to keep working on that but the pillows half of them are wet because of all the snow we got the last few days so I couldn't do very many of them today but I'm sure things will dry out and it will be done one of these days um, trying to think of anything else. I've been reading a new book that I got in the mail yesterday about, uh, I don't know if I want to share what the title is because it might seem controversial, so I probably won't, but it has been interesting because it's confirmed so many of the things that I've been pondering lately about the state of the world and, uh, it's interesting because, well, I don't know, when the Ebola scare happened, that's when I first started noticing some odd things about the news and what's what's on the news and if it's real or not, and um, I was pretty freaked out. Oh my goodness. <laughs> the dog is scratching himself right against the table here and he's shaking everything. You done there? Alright. Nope, he's not done. There he goes. Okay, he's leaving now. Anyways, um, I guess I'll just, I'll just say that it's, it's just, the whole idea of the two paths I was talking about the other day, the path that leads to life and the path that leads to death, and it's just so interesting to me to see it playing out in the real world that there's the group of people who believes there is no God and everything is materialistic and temporal and wanting to get out of it as much as we can and how willing people are to deceive other people so that they can get what they want, I guess. That's how I'll put it. And I think a lot of the state of things, how, how distressing it is sometimes to see the state of our country and what's happening here, a lot of it is because we haven't noticed or we don't realize it's happening on purpose because people are purposely tricking us, I guess is the word. They're tricking us into believing things are so terrible so that we all get in a panic and are willing to forfeit our freedoms and our children in a sense to it and um, and they're just fooling us, they're just fooling us, that's all that it is they're fooling us and once you start realizing it I can't tell you the, the um, happiness that I found when I realized that they are just tricking us. One day Tom asked me, what the heck has gotten into you? <laughs> and I said, I just figured out that they're not doing all the stuff that we think that they're doing. They're just fooling us. And it just took such a weight off my shoulders. And I think that's one of the reasons I wanted to start this channel was that, well, you'll see on my, um, my little cover art thing that I put that I'm not afraid because I've seen how captive we are to fear and it's that way on purpose people want us to be afraid because when we're afraid we're very willing to fork over <laughs> anything in order to keep ourselves safe from whether it's a health problem or whether it's a terrorist 
and they don't actually have to do anything. They just have to make us think that they are. <laughs> and it works just the same. And it's a lot easier for them just to trick us. And when I realized that, it just took this burden off my shoulders. I can't tell you. So, I'm hoping the best that I can to help other people realize that the path that leads to life really is the true path and this idea of there being some neutral secular science that that's not true there's nothing neutral you either believe there is a God or you don't believe there is a God and if you don't believe you aren't just neutral you're against something you're against it and people who are against by nature are not honest they are by nature deceitful so when we listen to them whether it's getting advice on how to educate your children or how to give birth to your children or what you need to buy to be healthy or safe or even what you need as far as what kind of car you have or what kind of house you have that there's nothing true that comes from that. They're just deceitful. And they exert so much power over you, but it's all in your own mind. And when you start to see it, they don't have power anymore. In fact, this book I was reading, it, one of the lines that was taken from this, I think this book was written like in the 30s. I couldn't find a date on it, but I'm guessing that from what it, um, how just how it's written it seems like that it's probably around the 30s or maybe the 40s I'm not sure and it's talking about the French Revolution and um, but in there they this man apparently was struck by lightning and when they recovered his body they found all these documents on him and that's when all of these things were revealed and you know all this stuff happened so that's where this information apparently came from so but in there, they were talking about the power that they had, and they admit that the only power they have is the power of mystery, and the power to deceive, basically, that they can't actually force anyone to do anything. They aren't actually trying to harm anyone, or they aren't harming people. All they're doing is fooling them. They have the power to make you think something's going on, and they put it before your eyes now, like on TV or whatever, and that exerts so much power over you that you cease to think rationally. And it's just, it's just so powerful, but it takes you wandering down the wrong path. And um, anyways, I'm not even sure what my point is. I just start rambling sometimes because I always have all these thoughts rolling around in my head. And they make so much sense when I'm thinking them, but when I try to say them, they sound like rambling. But I just hope that in your spare time, maybe, you'll start to maybe do some research on the falseness of what's going on in the news and realize that the world is actually not as in much turmoil as we're led to believe it is. And you could just turn that thing off, turn the TV off, stop reading the newspaper, and just start enjoying life, and you'd be a lot better off. That's what I did. Once I started figuring it out, it had no interest for me anymore. I keep hearing about all these things going on, and I'm like, just I just don't care anymore, because I don't think it's real. I think it's all a staged show to promote something, and it just doesn't seem interesting anymore. And I think the more people stop tuning in, the harder it'll be for them to fool everyone and promote that wrong agenda. Take us wandering down the wrong path. So, I guess I can't think of anything else to ramble on about. <laughs> and I think... I will hopefully get this thing uploaded within the next day or two as long as that uh, other video is my Christmas video is like 
an hour long and so I don't know how long it's going to take to upload but when that one's done this one will come up and well it won't matter by then this will be up so this is all a dead issue but at any rate I hopefully will be uh, getting this up soon and talk to you again tomorrow.